All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm getting right back into playing another mission in XCOM, but like always, you know, show me some love and, uh, you know, definitely uh, like and subscribe and, uh, you know, help me out. But, all right, let's go ahead and get started. This mission is actually one of my favorite missions within the game. It's, it's a recon mission, um, you know, kind of uh, checking out what, what exactly is going on in this little fishing village, um, you know, and, and, uh, what is it out in Canada somewhere right I think but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this um, I'm gonna send a team of three here and then two over here because uh, I pretty much know uh, where the enemies are coming from I, I guess you know I've been playing this shit way too much um, I kind of remember the pattern a little bit but I'm uh, I'm gonna send yeah I'm gonna send my sniper over here, get some good vision, um, and then I'm gonna send her over here. I've got the concealment with the mimetic skin, and I'm gonna send this dude over here with the Overwatch, and I'm gonna send her. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna keep her over here. Just just. Uh, you know, have a better vision of the the field a little bit. Um, that way, you know, if, if uh, she needs to take a shot from both directions, she's able to see whichever you know whichever way the enemies come from. You've got zombies near your position, strike one, which means the chrysalids aren't far behind. We need to find out where these things are coming from on the double. We have a new objective. All right, so you know, we definitely got some uh, zombies here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of them real fast. a dumb move but um, you know it's all good it shouldn't kill me okay actually yeah I'm gonna go ahead and provide some support here but what the fuck 88% and you're gonna miss and he's closer that was pretty shitty. But you know, that's XCOM for you. Sometimes you think you got it in the bag and then all of a sudden, you know, what the fuck, right? I'm on the move. That's kind of why I placed him on Overwatch there. I knew that zombie was going to come by. Uh, hopefully it only does like five or so damage. God, nine. I forgot they do a lot more damage than I thought. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this fucker real fast. All right, and then I need a hill here. Place them on Overwatch. Get at least one shot in. I have my sniper on Overwatch too. And I'm actually gonna send her up here. Okay, now 
I'm gonna keep my guy here. Back up. And then he's gonna... I'm gonna place him... Right here. Alright, and then this chick... Alright, so she's gonna be the one I'm gonna send out all the way out here, where the ship is. The way I like to play this is, I only like to send one person over there. Um, that way, you know, I can easily... Because you have to get your entire team back to the starting point. I don't really want to, you know, move my entire team over there and then have to track back all the way. It's, it's better to have one person with a, a high range of movement to kind of go there versus um, sending the entire team over there. Alright, so the chrysalis are definitely popping up. And I don't know how the fuck you miss with uh, 90, what, 5%? hit rate but at least she's got a hundred all right so we've got these guys coming at me I mean they they move pretty fast and pretty far distance so um, it's definitely kind of an issue So you can see they can move quite a bit. Well, that's new. We should probably let Dr. Vallen know about this. I doubt one chrysalid and a shark was enough for them to overrun this town, though. Keep an eye out for anything else the chrysalids might be nesting in. That's affirmative. All right, since two of them only had one left, I uh, just wanted to go ahead and throw a grenade. That way, you know, I don't have to waste shots and I can keep a couple people on overwatch. Because uh, I know, you know, it's, it's going to be, a, you know, waves after waves of enemies coming. Um, so that way, you know, I can place them on overwatch. And I'm going to place uh, my sniper. Actually, I can't take a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shot with her and with him. I need to build him up so he can get double tap also that that'll help out quite a bit. Alright, so I need to make myself over to this ship right here. But I want to maintain coverage uh, so I don't be, you know, so I don't get seen. Didn't just run aground. It looks like it was overrun. I'd say that's the likely source of our chrysalid problem. I guess we should just be thankful it wasn't a cruise liner. Ready to rock.
запрыгался. Боеприпасов нет. Ай, ай, командир. All right, so I need to get her on the ship, and um, <clears throat> I need to reach this point and kind of disable things. Um, I'm looking for a setup to where I can maintain, uh, you know, um, invisible status. So, you know, it's it's one of those things where um, being cautious is the best way to go. Uh, especially like I said before in other videos uh, the ones with higher much higher difficulty levels it's it's gonna make things a lot more difficult if you're not careful uh, this way you kind of know what to expect and you can kind of control the situation a little bit more which does help out quite a bit Sensor readings are picking up a whole lot of activity from inside the hold of that ship. I think you're about to have a lot of company headed your way. But nothing you've got on hand is going to be enough for this one. What we need is an airstrike. If you can reactivate that ship's transponder, we can have air support pinpoint your location and take the whole thing out. Objectives updated. Alright, so I gotta reload, get ready for the wave of enemies that are about to come this way. I'm gonna keep everybody stationary here. Okay, so I definitely want to maintain being unseen here. So, over here. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so now I gotta make sure my snipers are covering her back. Um, you know, she's about to get, uh, <clears throat> there's about to be a lot of, um, chrysalis coming after her, so I gotta, I gotta provide the necessary backup. Alright, so I've got one out of the way, but I know there's one more coming, and uh, she's probably going to take some damage. Moving. So I'm going to send my uh, squad up a little bit uh, in case I'm able to do some uh, support.
ship's transponder is active and transmitting. You need to get moving, Strike One. That whole place is going up in a matter of Now I gotta send everybody back. Behind is as good as dead. Objective updated. Aye, aye, Commander. Alright, I need my snipers to provide support uh, for her escape. So I'm gonna send these guys um, to basically get rid of this one over here that's closer by. Moving to firing position. Solid copy. Nailed him. I don't know if she'll hide. Uh, I doubt she's going to be able to. Double time. Oh fuck. That was my sniper. Alright, so she's gotten a lot closer to the rest of my team, so that's good. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm gonna just keep providing backup for her. So the headshots definitely uh, help out whenever you only have, you know, one round, one round left and uh, you need to make the shot count. Uh, definitely does help to utilize the um, headshot skill.
So you can see, you know, the chrysalids just keep coming um, one after another. So sending the whole squad out there uh, makes it pretty difficult um, to kind of recover from. <clears throat> All right, so she's going to be able to join the rest of my team here. So I'm going to start pulling my squad back closer to the Avenger. Uh, that way, you know, we can make our retreat. That was stupid on my part. I didn't realize it was my sniper again. I'm on the move. On my way. Ready to engage. Good to go. So I'm just gonna steadily uh, retreat while maintaining Overwatch. Um, you know, so I don't get caught off guard. Because they are going to come at me. Well, it would be better if this motherfucker didn't miss. Adjusting sights. Yeah, so they definitely have quite a range of, of uh, movement, so uh, it makes it tricky, definitely. Definitely comes in handy with the critical. Heading there now. <clears throat> Moving to position. Alright, so I'm almost there, uh, pulling everybody back. So I don't think I'm going to be caught off guard and, you know, get a, get attacked, um, end up losing one of my squad mates. Strike one. That airstrike is closing in your position. You need to get to the evac point before it's too late. Stepping up. All right, so everybody should be able to make it back to the ship. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull everybody out. And just evac everybody. Moving out. Moving to position. Running. All right, that's it. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And, um, you know, everybody does it a little bit differently, but uh, that's my approach for that particular mission. Um, like I said, I like to send 
Um, one one guy out there to kind of, <clears throat> uh, you know, I don't know, place a kind of transmitter for the ship uh, for the fighter just to know where where to strike. Um, and then have everybody else kind of just um, as backup and support. So it's it's definitely um, advantageous to have two snipers on a mission. Um, I've done it uh, different methods to where uh, I just have one scout and then the rest of them are, are snipers. Um, but the only reason uh, why I was able to do that for that particular mission that way was because uh, it was much later in the game and I've already had you know four or five snipers that had that all had double tap and they all had colonel statuses so, um it was actually quite fun doing it that way too uh, especially if you already have the archangel and you have everybody up in the air uh, they can see pretty much anything uh, so when you have uh, five snipers with double tap uh, in the air like that it's it's gonna be ridiculously crazy Alright, so I've got uh, John Matrix Command, aka Commando, as uh, a colonel now. The proper rank of what he should be. Um, you know, you got two options here. One's, uh, you know, you're pretty much immune to critical hits. This one is the one I'm going to pick. Um, you know, activating run and gun is also going to grant you 50% critical damage. So I've got all these additional bonuses of critical hits, so I'm going to further enhance it. I mean that's usually the route I go for the assault is um, just just seek and destroy basically is the approach I take. Alright, so I've got double tap for this guy too. So that's gonna help out quite a bit. I don't really ever pick this one, like I said, so um, double tap it shall be. Remember. All right, well, I'm going to cut it off here, but, you know, again, like always, just, you know, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you like and subscribe, you know, my videos and, and uh, channel. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys keep watching and uh, I'll check you guys later.